The Indonesian archipelago spans a distance of more than 5,000 kilometers across the southern portion of Southeast Asia. The climate, geography, and public health infrastructure of Indonesia range from the modern, well-developed center of Jakarta to the teeming urban enclaves which are home to the masses. Indonesia offers some of the world's most remote jungles and primitive landscapes. This harsh and unforgiving environment provides a perfect natural laboratory for the advanced study and treatment of infectious disease. In Indonesia and throughout Southeast Asia, that advanced research is carried out by Naval Medical Research Unit 2, the Navy's premier overseas infectious disease laboratory. Headquartered in Jakarta, Namru 2 is one of several Department of Defense overseas laboratories. Namru 2's mission is to conduct research on infectious diseases with mission aborting potential. This charge is related directly to the enhancing of American military readiness through the effective treatment of debilitating infectious disease. Historically, infectious disease has caused more casualties than has the actual effects of fighting in all major military conflicts. Whether it was influenza and typhus during World War I, malaria, dengue fever, and scrub typhus during the Second World War, malaria and leptospirosis in Vietnam, or other disease-related problems in more recent campaigns, the story has been the same. More American military personnel were debilitated by disease than by weapons. Because of their expert knowledge in the epidemiology and seasonality of infectious disease in the region, Namru 2 personnel are working to greatly reduce the number of disease-related casualties in future conflicts and in current peacetime exercises. In spite of an outstanding record of achievement, many know little about the role or even the existence of Namru 2 and its sister units. Naval Medical Research Unit Number 2 plays a critical role in support of America's military and humanitarian interests and provides unique opportunities for medical scientists. But why the Navy? Navy ships call at ports throughout the world and place sailors at risk of exposure to infectious disease. And fleet marines are often the first to land and be at risk for infectious disease. The Navy is then called upon to provide its medical support. Another significant mission is to assist the government of Indonesia and other cooperative nations by improving their laboratory infrastructure and to assist in studies of public health problems that are of mutual concern. It is in this field that Namru 2 has a record of important contributions to medical science and readiness. The unit originated in Guam to deal with the infectious disease casualties coming out of the Pacific campaign. Since that time, they have operated from a number of Asia-Pacific locations, including Taipei, Taiwan, and Manila. In 1969, Namru 2 was requested by the Indonesian Ministry of Health to assist in the control of several plague outbreaks in Sumatra. Ensuing cooperation led to the establishment of a permanent presence in Indonesia. Strong ties with the Indonesian Ministry of Health, the Center for Disease Control, the National Institute of Health Research and Development, combined with the high incidence of tropical infectious disease problems, have led to an increasing role for joint U.S.-Indonesian research efforts. Throughout its history, Namru 2 has made a number of contributions which have had a major impact on military preparedness and on public health throughout the world. Oral rehydration therapy, a result of Namru 2's studies of cholera in Thailand and the Philippines, was probably the most important. This product is a small, inexpensive, safe, and easy-to-use package of basic salts, which saves hundreds of thousands of lives each year. Other notable achievements include the discovery that adjunct steroid treatment can save lives in severe cases of typhoid fever. Dr. Carlton Gajasak, who discovered the disease Kuru in the highlands of Irian Jaya, worked out of Namru II in Taipei and was later awarded a Nobel Prize. Naval Medical Research Unit No. 2 operates from facilities located throughout the region. These facilities include 58,000 square feet of laboratory and support space in central Jakarta. 
This complex includes a biological safe level three laboratory in a self-contained modular building. This facility, the only one of its kind in Southeast Asia, provides the utmost in safety when working with dangerous organisms. Namru 2's other major laboratory in Northeast Irian Jaya has 4,500 square feet of space with all of the instrumentation necessary to support the extensive field studies in that region. These labs provide everything from basic testing to highly sophisticated molecular biology and genetic technology. The Namru 2 professional staff numbers over 20 Americans and 120 Indonesians, including medical doctors, scientists at the PhD level, and technical personnel at the master and baccalaureate level. All are supported by a professional administrative and logistics staff. The American staff are carefully selected for their expertise and experience, and the Indonesian personnel represent the finest talent available in Indonesia today. In addition, Namru 2 is supported by a large number of outstanding collaborators and by contract personnel retained for limited term projects. The unit's mission, location, state-of-the-art facilities, and the caliber of its staff combine to provide scientists with extraordinary research opportunities. Namru 2 carries out its mission through four program centers, or PCs, parasitology, virology, bacteriology, and emerging diseases. The parasitology PC focuses on malaria, which is currently Namru 2's largest effort. Malaria research is important because the Indonesian Transmigration Program, which annually relocates more than 50,000 families, brings people with no natural or acquired immunity into areas with some of the highest incidence of malaria in the world. This closely resembles the risk U.S. military personnel would face if they were deployed to a highly malaria endemic area and provides a unique opportunity to study the epidemiology, the attack rates, the effectiveness of current malaria prophylactic and curative drugs, the presence or emergence of drug resistance, and finally, an opportunity to test vaccines under development. Namru 2 also works closely with the Indonesian Army, which deploys units to Irian Jaya. These deployments mirror what would happen if American units were to be deployed to a hyper-endemic malarial area. The Virology Program Center is engaged in a large community-based longitudinal study on dengue fever in Jogjakarta, Central Java. This study has enrolled over 2,000 children for a period of two years. Another focus of this PC is the serological mapping of the different serotypes of HIV virus in Southeast Asia. Lastly, this PC plays an important role in the Emerging Disease Program by providing diagnostic support and training for the Ministry of Health and other collaborators. Namru 2's bacteriology PC concentrates on a trial of an oral cholera vaccine developed by the Swiss Serum and Vaccination Institute and the University of Maryland. The extensive study has 67,000 subjects enrolled in a three-year program to ascertain the efficacy of new cholera vaccines. The remaining program center is emerging diseases. Because of international concerns over new and emerging diseases and a renewed emphasis on military involvement in operational and humanitarian activities in the region, new importance has been placed on these studies. Namru 2 monitors Southeast Asia as part of a Department of Defense global surveillance program for infectious disease. The unit has also been designated a World Health Organization collaborating center they support bilateral and combined military exercises in the region and work closely with the Joint Task Force Full Accounting Activities to provide medical threat assessments for U.S. military personnel working on MIA issues. These activities involve the scientific investigation of former battlefield sites in Laos, Vietnam, and Cambodia. Namru 2 provides proof that international cooperation can be synergized to provide humanitarian aid while dealing with the critical issues of military preparedness. The men and women of Naval Medical Research Unit 2 have been serving mankind and the military for over 50 years and will continue that level of service and success well into the 21st century.